podcast of The Grave Digger. Now, in this very special episode, I have uh, an unboxing for you all, and I'm so glad to actually uh, do this. This is something Ocaster has been wanting for a long time, and uh, I'm, I'm actually really glad I got it, and um, I'm going to share it with you. So, what did Gaster get, you ask? Well, it's none other than the Metal Storm Collector's Edition. Yes, Duckies, we got it. <laughs> now, for a lot of you out there saying, like, what the hell is Metal Storm? Well, Metal Storm was a game for the um, the NES. And uh, it came out um, in the, um, I believe it came out in, like, the, uh, in like 1990. And um, it is a, uh, like, a shooter platformer. And um, it kind of like, kind of like Mega Man, except the... Um, the gimmick in this game is you pilot this mech and you uh, go upside down. You can change gravity and then you can walk on the ceiling. And that's how you get through certain levels, um, changing the gravity back and forth to, to get through different parts while shooting enemies. And um, it's a really, really fun game. Um, I haven't played it in, you know, God, you know, like probably 25, 30 years. Um, <laughs> now, Ocaster got his hands on the original um, back in the early nineties. And, uh, I think my, my cousin got it for me for my birthday. Uh, he was in Germany at the time and he sent it to me for my birthday and pretty awesome gift. And, um, yeah. And, um, years later I, I sold it at a yard sale. Oh God, I know, I know, please forgive me. And, um, when I got back into retro gaming, I did not realize how expensive it was. I didn't realize that it was actually a pretty rare game. So, you know, the cartridge cards are going for like $100 on eBay. And I was like, oh, my God. So, um, but anyways, I didn't even know this was a thing until like uh, a couple years ago uh, when this came out. Probably a year after this came out, I didn't even know it was, a, you know, first time I heard about it. So, um, I'm actually got, like, glad I got it. Um, you, this is actually from Retrobit. And, um, yeah, um, uh, they re-released this and it has like some, collect, you know, cool collector stuff inside of it. And uh, I got this sealed, as you can see, and I got it off eBay because no, they no longer sell it on their website. It was a limited time thing. So we are going to, uh, <laughs> we are going to unbox it and open it. Um, yeah. So for the squeamish, you might want to, you know, turn the video off. <laughs> yeah, Caster's not keeping this for like a super collector's item, you know, new in box. But I am going to keep it and put it on the shelf in the back. So in future videos, you'll see it back there. But um, yeah, so... You know, Caster keeps this stuff really nice. So, yeah, I, I'm, I'm going to, you know, keep this nice and use it as a collectible. But we're not going to have it sealed. I'm actually going to play the game. And, um, oh, I'm sorry. Hit the camera there. All right. So, we're going to open it up. But let's uh, look at the box first. So, we got the beautiful, um, the mech on the cover. Pretty awesome. Um, yeah, it's from, there's the Japanese uh, font on there. And it's from, uh, Irem is the, uh, the actual original publisher. And, yes, retro bit. And, uh, yeah, pretty cool artwork on there. Now, on here it says, uh, Retro Bit Publishing has recreated, recreated games into physical media and brought them uh, uh, to where they were never released, giving gamers and collectors across the globe the opportunity to own one-of-a-kind limited edition exclusives that, um, that include many extra collectible items. For the first time ever, the Japanese version of the NES... Uh, classic NES uh, game, Metal Storm, has been translated to English along with the white mech cinematic introduction to the plot and higher difficulty level options so um so it's probably gonna be a lot different than my version so that's pretty cool um and it talks about being ranked on top 50 of ign's uh top 100 nes games and it's ign who gives a shit <laughs> oh making enemies and burning bridges so anyways um so yeah it's it's actually really really great um, so here's what comes in, uh, let's see, to commemorate this release is what comes with it, the Metal Gear, uh, Metal Gear, <laughs> the Metal Storm Collector's Edition includes, um, the Metal Storm 8-brick cartridge with, uh, dust cover comparable to the original, so it's gonna look, you know, like the original, um, and it works, it's compatible with, uh, the retro bit consoles and the original NES, which is cool, and I have, as we know, I have the, um, RGB modded NES, so this is gonna look absolutely freaking amazing. A uh, hard embossed collector's embossed to safely store all the collectibles. A collectible retail box to keep your cartridge in pristine condition. So that's pretty cool. Um, let's see here. Original Metal Storm art uh, art prints. 
exclusive double-sided poster. That's pretty cool. Retro bit limited edition enamel pin. That's probably that. That's pretty cool. Um, certificate of authenticity, full color instruction manual with all the information to the enhanced gameplay. And probably the best thing about this collector's figurine of the M308 gunner. So, oh boy. So let's get into this right now, shall we? Ooh, so like I said, for those who are squeamish, please turn away. <laughs> so let's go ahead and cut this very gently because I don't want to like rip anything. And uh hope I didn't slice my damn finger up. <laughs> All right, so let's see here. Trying to be very careful because I don't want to actually cut this, cut the box or anything. All right, so I think I made an incision. There we go. Oh, yeah, there we go. No longer a virgin. <laughs> oh, boy. I know a lot of people are crying blasphemy, but whatever. Now, this was the, like, actual game you know, new in box, and yeah, I wouldn't be touching it, but this is just a, you know, recreation. So, let's open her up and see what we got here. So, let's slide her up. Oh, boy. Look at that nice box. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, okay, that's really cool. Let's take a look at this real quick. Oh, that's really nice. I like that. I really like that. Oh, well, well, yeah. Ooh, yeah. This, this is going to look so badass on this shelf. All right. All right, nothing inside. That's a nice hard box, too. All right, so first thing, a little bit of paper. Oh, my God, look what we got already. Ooh, boy, it's like opening up a loot crate. So, oh, wow, so here is the embossed pen. That's actually pretty thick. Look at that, Ducky. That looks amazing. I don't know if I want to take that out of there. That looks really cool. I might keep this in the package, but holy crap, that looks awesome. Because I really don't have nothing I really pin stuff to, so nice little collectible. Keep this on the shelf like that. I don't know. Yeah, that's really nice. I like that. And uh, I guess here's the big the big thing. Now, I'm going to keep this box that it's in. But, uh, yeah, we're going to... Well, let's see here. How do we get this out of here? Okay. Okay, that's how we do it. So... I, uh, it's like a freaking <laughs> okay there we go it's like a puzzle but I don't want to I'm, I'm, I'm trying not to tear it up too much there we go there we go okay that's actually pretty cool that's coming out of the box but we're going to uh, keep this this box that comes in I'm keeping everything so let's cut that nice and neat oh yeah yeah night premiered on uh, 1991 uh, the M the M three hundred eight Gunner premiered in nineteen ninety one on the NES Metal Storm, which became recognized as one of the most um, intricate games on the console. The M three hundred eight Gunner manipulates gravity with its ability to switch to the ceiling and battle its uh, mechanical enemies from above, equipped with sophisticated weaponry and immortality. <laughs> he is to protect mankind from all threats. And now joins the Metal Storm Collector's Edition in this full figure. Uh, in his full figure, especially created for game collectors and fans of this rare classic. Alright, so I probably messed that up because I'm just so excited. Alright, let's open this up. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, and it's like, it's like, a, like a vinyl, like a plastic. It's very light. I thought it'd be like some metal or something, but it's very light. That that looks pretty cool. That I like the colors on it. Yeah, that looks that looks badass. But yeah, you can see it's like really flimsy plastic. And it's like, you know, hollow there. But yeah, that's like that's cool. Have it on a shelf or a desk or something. That looks really cool. And I'm definitely gonna put that on the shelf. Uh, almost like a box like a Funko Pop. Ah, it's like a bag of cereal. <laughs> Once you pull it out, it doesn't come back in. Come on. There we go. We'll, uh, I'll fix it later. Screw it. 
All right, so let's get into the meat and potatoes down here. So, okay, so we got, oh boy, oh boy. So, comes a nice little envelope. Oh wow, that's like, oh, that's pretty cool. That's really cool. Do I like the uh, little stars? Or, I guess little stars, yeah. That's pretty cool. And then authenticity. There we go. So this is a 608 of 3000. Awesome. And, um, well, that's not the double-sided poster. <laughs> or is this the art, the art prints? I don't know. I think that's, I think that's all that came in there. Yep. All right. And then finally, sorry, I keep hitting the camera. The coup de grace, the game. Yes, this is actually what the, um, this is actually how the original looked. So this looks, yeah, this looks just like the box. Oh, wow. So we can get some of the screenshots here. Sorry, the light's in the way. But yeah. We'll have, we'll have some gameplay footage before. Actually, you know what? I actually remember that boss. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's all coming back to me now. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Oh, man, I remember that title screen. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, uh, let's go ahead and open this up. And, uh, yeah, we'll have some gameplay footage here in a little bit. But, uh, very careful. Now, I'm, I'll probably put this, like, um, in one of those, uh, collectible boxes that you get for, like, NES, uh, complete in box games. Try not to, like, cut the box up. want to keep it nice. There we go. Oh, man, how could something feel so good be so wrong? <laughs> you know, I know some people are like, oh, my God, Caster, please stop. Stop cutting the plastic. Oh, my God. Oh, that looks so... I mean, I just... Oh, God, that's so sexy. Oh. Oh. All right, let's open this up without crinkling the box. I'm trying to do this all very careful. Oh, well, screw it. Look at happened. Got it crinkled. It's not mint anymore. Oh, well. Oh, well. No one will ever see it. Besides, I'm not going to sell this. So, this is mine forever. Here we go. Here's all the other stuff. Oh, wow. So, here's the double-sided poster. Holy crap, this might be huge. The poster has like a weird, almost vinyl feel to it. Yeah, it's like it's like a vinyl. Like there's like a but that looks looks pretty cool. Oh, that looks pretty cool. Let's see on the back. Yeah, that's pretty cool. That's really awesome. This might actually get framed. Actually, this will get framed. <laughs> this is actually oh, this is, I'm so happy. Oh, this is so badass. All right. And then here's the uh, full-color instruction booklet. They don't make these no more. Instruction booklets, I mean. Oh, that's cool. And they got, like, the ones the Japanese. Oh, cool. They got the... Cool, so this is, like, Japanese and English. That's pretty awesome. And then... I think that's it. Yep. And here we got the game itself. Doesn't look exactly like NES. It's kind of... More silver than gray. Yeah, it's like a more of a silvery color, but that, that still looks pretty badass. Oh man, yeah. Kind of don't want to scuff it up. Hope it doesn't scuff it up. Like put it in my um, put my NES. But that let this glossy label here looks so sweet. Oh my god, that looks awesome. And then, of course, it comes with, like, a dust cover. Oh, man, they went with, like, the cheap dust covers you can get from, like, 10 in a pack on eBay. They didn't actually do, like, the normal dust cover, which actually doesn't have this folded bottom. But, all right, well, everything else looks pretty cool. So, yeah. Wow, that looks cool. And they even got, like, the same kind of, like, security screws. Oh, wow. This looks so amazing. Oh, my God. So, let's, uh, let's review here. 
I mean, it, it feels like a sturdy-ass game, dude. It's like, I don't know, it feels heavier than, like, a normal one. But, so we got the actual game that does play on an actual NES. We got the beautiful, beautiful box that I kind of crinkled up a little bit, but oh well. Don't tell nobody about it. <laughs> we got this beautiful, beautiful freaking um, enamel pen that I love. And it's it's heavy, too. Like, man. And then we got some art prints and the certificate of authenticity, which looks pretty badass. I'm going to keep these in the, uh, the envelope here. Most of the stuff's going to stay inside the box. But a lot of this stuff's going to, you know... <laughs> Like the manual and all that's gonna stay in there, and the vinyl. Um, this is gonna stay in the box. Uh, those will probably stay in the box until I can find a place for it. And uh, this, this, and this are all going on display. Well, the game, the box, and the, uh, the figure here are all going on display, and everything else is going inside the giant box. So yeah, so this is this is pretty damn sweet. I'm oh man, I tell you what, I, I, this is awesome. I'm so happy. If you can find yourself one, I definitely would recommend picking it up. Because this this looks pretty badass. Holy crap. And it looks pretty well made, too. That's another thing. Like, it just, it seems like well made um, stuff here. So, anyways, duckies. Yeah, this looks pretty pretty awesome. And I'm glad to be sharing with this with you. Um, if you want something else for me to do or show off or whatever... Um, you know, just comment down below. Um, if there's anything, you know, like any specific modification video you would like to see. Um, if you want me to dis discuss anime, let me know what title and I'll see what we can do. Um, but yeah, you know, join me on Twitter. I'm pretty active on there. Um, and, uh, yeah, so Ducky, so really happy to get this and, um, we'll hope, hopefully see you in the next video. Thank you, Duckies. Stay safe and be good to each other.